What's up guys, my name is Iris. I am here today with you with a live twin top four case tournament. Um, I went undefeated all the way up until the fourth round. Um, lost to, of course, a homie and then won the next round. Um, honestly, this thing was mad consistent um, and I'm here to give you a breakdown of what, what was in it. So, of course, first we have to start off with three keys to kill, um, and then three Leela. Um, with the three Leela, you have your extenders of two frost and one treat. Um, I've thought about running one frost, but to be honest, the extra draw is kind of uh, helpful in most cases. I'm trying to get those starlights, you know? And then I do run um, one big body main deck, um, Leela. It is a free send, um, and it honestly just comes in clutch anytime that I need. Um, especially as long as I load um, Sunny into the grave. I mean, I usually start with that. For the hand traps, I do three effect failure. Two Ash, one Bell, one Droll, and one Nib. The Droll was actually supposed to be a, or it was a Bell, a double Bell, or a double Nib. A friend of mine convinced me to just throw it in there. And to be honest, this thing saved me more than once. I went against Bird Up and Tri Brigade too many times. Um, and literally, the one of ended up coming in clutch. So when it came into siding, you know, I got to see more of it. Bell does come in clutch though with uh, DPE, since DPE is a thing right now. For the spells, we have three Sunny Snitch, three Secret Password, and then two Home. Uh, in my previous build on my qualifier, I was running three of these, knocked it down to two for extra space since i am able to search it one um is a little too risky uh and at least two you're at least guaranteed to see it um more or less um and honestly it helps you play through nib you have two tactics because everybody's playing chalice and imperm so it doesn't always come in uh you know handy three it's a little bricky two forbidden droplet um, I always hate having to, when I had three, I hate sending another droplet for a droplet, and it kind of, you know, does not help. Two cross out, because you have a third uh, call by the grave. Um, on all honesty, I was running three also, but again, too many spells, you know, and it, uh, it becomes too dependent. And especially with a lot of people main decking um, Imperial Order, people just happen to always be drawing it. Two is perfect, uh, helps with the Nibiru, the Droll, and the Bell targets. Um, it did save me being Nibiru'd um, a time or two, and I honestly, uh, I can't complain. Um, then you have your, let's see, one of Monster Reborn. This used to be a challenge, um, but to be honest, I'd rather Reborn you know if i have two sunnies use one effect to send whatever i need to on their on their field to grave and then bring out the other sunny with this and then proceed to you know do some damage or whatnot for the traps i have three imperm um three it's been perfect i have three torrential tribute board wipes i know people some people play three nibs instead of three torrential to be honest apple can't negate this and there's a lot of stuff that can't negate uh treasure tribute um compared to you know apple or Borlo Borlo savage being able to negate nibiru or baron um and with the baron like i guess nib you would have to chain nib and then chain imperm and not, you're not always gonna have both you know it's very situational um but i'd rather have torrential to be honest um it's been it's been pretty good especially when i can't draw anything 
For the extra deck, I am going to have the three ofs each. You got Kisakil, Leela, and Trouble Sunny. Um, to be honest, I am grateful and happy that I run three because there was uh, somebody that did the Ruddy Rose effect. And it's happened to me before where <laughs> they all get banished. And at the time I was actually testing with two and that third one I needed just to bring out my last Sunny and I wasn't able to because of it, it sucked. Um, so I think running three is actually mandatory. Um, I run one Nightmare Unicorn and one Nightmare Griffin. Uh, Griffin has actually, it saved me from a DPE. Um, being that, being that he's um, a fusion, and most people don't read Griffin's effect, and he's basically like a floodgate. So basically, it states that any special summon monsters on the field, uh, they cannot activate their effects unless they are linked. So, Sword Souls, unless they're playing Tenyi, they don't run links. It's all straight synchro. So they really can't do much. The only downside of Griffin is that he's only 25. So he can be beat over, but you know, by that time, by the time they realize or even bother to read Griffin, it's already too late. Um, I am running a Zeus package, Gachi Gachi. I was running Sky Cavalry, um, but again, DPE is a, is a thing. And I mean, Gachi Gachi can save me. Yeah, he's still weak. Sky Cavalry can only, um, it cannot be defeated by battle, or destroyed by battle, but that's all it has. People running Dogmatic Punishment, you know, you have your Torrentials, you have your DPE, you have your Entis, at least this will help save you, because more times than not, Sky Cavalry always got popped. And then, for the OTK, I'm using the Deco Talker Extended. A lot of people don't realize, um, what it does, they think they're gonna survive another turn once they see this on the field, and that's usually, uh, usually not the case uh, so basically what happens is if you have uh, so let's say this is your end board your end board on their you know their turn they pass turn because you're able to stop them with all the hand traps you run you can literally just normal summon anything special summon whatever and if they have nothing on the field I usually go for the draw if they have something I need to get rid of then I'll go for the pop right so link these three into this effect bring this back and then you can literally just go into sunny and so basically what that does uh, so you go into sunny you attack for 33 use her effect bring out these two back to where he points now his effect activates and basically states that if a monster that he points to is sent from uh, field to grave by a card effect which sunny was he can attack twice and he gains 500 for each monster he points to and so now he's at 33 so now you technically have three sunnies on field to attack for direct or damage not including an additional 22 um it literally helps end the game quicker faster um and i, I can't really it it's op <laughs> I really, really like it. I can't complain. For the side deck, I'm running two Drone Lockbird. I am running two Cosmic Cyclones. Um, I am running three Artifact Lancias for Tri Brigade. Um, and somewhat Sword Soul. Uh, it depends on the, the Tenny build. I'm running three Evenly Matched. Uh, especially for backboards, you got your uh, Cosmic Cyclones evenly matched. Um, I'm running three, ah, Dark Ruler no more, just to help break down the board. And then the one of is a Red Reboot and Feather Duster. Red Reboot initially was sighted in, well honestly I never saw it. It was for the Harpies trap that people seem to use, that I can't activate anything. That was that for that, IO or, uh, and I spell fragrance. Not once did I see it, so I'm, I just replaced this with the third cosmic. 
uh, I mean, Harpies is cool. It is a bit slow. That's why I was thinking of what to replace uh, Red Reboot with. Um, but to be honest, Cosmic Cyclone is good. Um, it came in clutch with Striker, since they can't use the effect with, uh, I believe it's Anchor. Um, and, and to be honest, I mean, back row removal is just perfect, especially with everybody running the Eldritch stuff. Uh, you have Blackout with Sword Soul. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the uh, the profile that I used. Uh, like I said, I will make changes. I'm taking out Red Reboot. And I might just pump up Drill in my main deck because it saved me too many times. Um, I appreciate it, guys. Uh, I'll be posting the videos of the case tournaments of all the rounds that I did. Um, we'll do we'll do some reviews um, and basically see what I what I could have done differently from what I was thinking at the moment, and then I'll give a little breakdown of what I was thinking when I was making certain plays. Um, and yeah, I mean, y'all have a good one, guys. Appreciate. It. Please uh, like and subscribe, and uh, y'all have a good one, guys. Good night.